Hey, it's Rich here. I'm going to tell you the story about how my interest in flipped learning developed to the point that I eventually researched and wrote my master's thesis on flipped learning and information literacy instruction. My interest in the teaching method started back in 2011. And at that point in time, I'd been guest lecturing in the law library for about four years, teaching a lecture on knowledge management tools uh, for the advanced legal research and writing class. And up until that point in time, I'd been using a pretty standard lecture format with a PowerPoint presentation demonstrating how to use a variety of knowledge management tools to help the students with their research and uh, their writing and on a good day, I would guess that probably about half of the class was paying attention or following along with my demonstrations. And the other half was catching up with their email or on Facebook or doing something else. So in my fifth year of doing that guest lecturing, I decided to try the flipped learning method for my instruction. And in a flipped learning class, as most of you probably know, students typically complete instruction work at home using videos and exercises to begin to, new, to learn new concepts and skills. And then face-to-face -face class time is devoted primarily to active learning exercises to build on the knowledge and skills from their pre-class homework. The teacher during the face-to-face -face class time is then able to assist and guide students who need help with the exercises during class time. Now, teaching my flipped knowledge management class was like night and day. I could see and feel a higher level of engagement as students worked together in groups to complete the different knowledge management tasks that allowed them to learn how to use the software effectively. And I knew that I'd hit on something important when about a third of the students stayed behind after class time was over to continue to explore the knowledge management software that they'd been working with. Now, the flipped learning uh, pedagogy is a style of teaching that encourages some of the best aspects of active learning environments. Rather than revolutionizing the way classes are taught with high-tech software or hardware, flipped learning encourages educators to rethink how they can incorporate it, more active learning activities into their classes. A key feature of flipped learning that appeals to many educators is the potential it has to free up face-to-face -face class time for more hands-on or engaging group work. This is typically done by utilizing digital technologies to facilitate the pre-class instruction, but it's not the technologies per se that make the difference. It's the way that the technologies are used to change the way the face-to-face -face class time is utilized. Feedback on the in-class flipped activities was almost uniformly positive. Active learning work in class was appreciated, especially since almost all of the in-class activities helped learners make progress on their major paper assignments. Now these meaningful in-class activities not only help learners practice the skills that they are introduced to in their pre-class work, but it also acted as scaffolding for their major paper assignments. The results of the group work activities, especially when shared with the whole class, gave learners insight into how their peers tackled major paper-related tasks, which was also identified as being helpful in the interviews. Now, it's clear from the student interviews that FLIP participants on the whole prefer the active learning exercises that FLIP learning pedagogies enable. This isn't to say that more traditional classes can't incorporate active learning exercises into their instruction, because many do, as you know. What a properly designed flipped learning curriculum does, however, is free up more face-to-face -face time for hands-on activities, and potentially allows students at different levels of knowledge and ability to move closer to the same level before class by way of pre-class instruction and activities.